Hi, this is Debbie. Welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. And I'm going to give you all a little bit of an update on what all is going on in the garden. If you knew from the last videos, I was still planting a lot of things. I'm still planting a few things here and there, but mostly at this point, it is just fill-ins in places. And if I find a packet of seeds that I really wanted to go ahead and plant, then I just simply go ahead and do that. I had to pause it for a moment because my grandson went running through to get his sidewalk chalk. Possibility it might be wet because I have watered the garden. And he's actually running back through right now. There he goes with his sidewalk chalk. But anyway, um, yeah, everything's just growing by leaps and bounds. It's only been a few days and already things have doubled, tripled, sometimes quadrupled in size, especially these onions. And I did go ahead and plant some more onions. So all in all, I have a little over 200 onions now. Um, 215 or so to be exact. And I also planted some more seeds. We got some more radishes stuck in different places. Um, and the rattlesnake pole beans that I had planted are, are now coming up. We've got a couple of them that are just beginning to peek up out of the ground. So those are coming up. Um, our red curry squash that we had planted over here was the ones we started inside. They didn't do so well when they came outside. That happens sometimes. So um, I think we have three that had survived the transplant out, but they're kind of rough looking. So we went ahead and planted some more seeds because I had plenty of red curry seeds and they're already up. Um, you can see little, little tufts of green in there behind the beans those are the red curry that are already up i think almost all of them have came up at this point out through there and of course the tomatillos that we transplanted and the peppers that we transplanted are already blooming um, we actually have a pepper on one of the plants that you see the two blooms on right now and then all of the tomato plants are doing great we've only got a couple of them which are very shaded that are still kind of small all of the other ones have doubled or tripled, quadrupled in size. Of course, they've got a lot of growth to do. Um, they'll continue the rest of this month getting bigger. And uh, I don't look for them to start setting fruit or anything until probably late August, um, which is crazy. I know maybe early August, if we're lucky, they'll start putting tomatoes on. But um, just just a late start on everything because the ground was still cold. We still had snow and frost. and freezes that were all the way up into um, the first couple of days in June so still a lot of that going on um, and then finally now it's temperatures in the today was in the 90s with lows are supposed to be in the 60s but um, I noticed last night we stayed at 70 degrees pretty much all night last night which was hot um, our house is not um, air conditioned or anything because it is a Victorian it's a big 30 room Victorian house and we just do not have central heat and air or air conditioning in the house so we rely on fans and windows and things like that to keep it cool most of the time it does but when it gets into the 90s it kind of gets uh, pretty tough to keep it cooled down but all in all inside it'll stay um, at the very most in the upper 70s sometimes in a couple of rooms but for the most part about 72 on the lower levels and then up in the upper levels about 74 so it's not a huge amount of heat but you can definitely tell a difference from the winter time anyway potatoes those are the things that have quadrupled in size at least a lot of them some of them are still kind of smaller but that's the ones that had just worked their way up some of them were a little slower than the others but all in all the potatoes look amazing um, this is all the Kennebec potatoes over in the second garden we have five garden plots at this point um, maybe six I don't know I haven't really established and counted but um, potatoes are doing wonderful looking great couple of spots is just where they just came up and right up here in the front of the potatoes between the shallots and the potatoes is where we have planted a, a ton of radishes all the way around 
Um, so I look forward to com those coming up. I planted lady slipper radishes and French breakfast radishes, crimson giant radish radishes, and um, a different variety, and I forget what those were. The Kellogg's breakfast tomatoes are finally starting to perk up a bit, um, getting some more growth on them. My grandson's little garden is doing pretty well. Um, got some more growth on the pepper plant. It is now because I had a broken top and I'd stuck it in his little garden. It's starting to get two tops now. So I'm looking for probably double the peppers on that one. His lettuce is looking amazing and we use the uh, bags. We tie those around the, um, he's got little trellises up here in case he had anything that he wanted to trellis. We use these, the noise and them blowing in the wind, to help deter birds and things like that. And it works quite well. He's got a couple of broccoli in there. One of the broccolis is what I thought was killed out by frost. It actually came back and uh, is growing pretty well. And the other one was one that I had went to replace it with and it's doing really well. As, um, so I just left it in there and his tomato is starting to bloom. So it'll probably start putting on some fruit pretty soon. It's a yellow pear tomato. Um, here are the transplants of the borage that I took out of the garden and put, just put them into pots and I've been trying to give them away. Still have them, 10 of them. Um, just trying to give them away and I've got more that need to come out of the garden. And here's another of the yellow pear tomatoes looking very well. And the sun sugar gold is finally starting to put on some more growth. And uh, I look for it to start doing pretty well here pretty soon and lots of corn corn is still coming up because again it is back in the shaded area so it's still working on it but you can definitely see more shoots are coming up and we will be putting some beans in here probably in the morning between each of the corn we have a couple of rows of burgundy beans royal burgundy uh, bush beans between two of the rows of corn, right in front of the potatoes. And we still have that borage that I kept out of the garden and just put it into this pot, getting ready to bloom. It's getting a lot taller. Um, so is the basil, getting a lot bigger. And we actually planted more basil. I'll show you that in just a moment. It's supposed to be like 50 different varieties in a packet, so we planted those. We've got all of these still doing really, really well. We're almost at the point that we can start picking some lettuce leaves. The microgreens are in the watercress can be picked. They're part of the bed. The watercress is just getting really big now, um, filling out the pot, so pretty soon it can start being picked. And there's my grandson drawing. More coloring. Apparently you're stuck in the blue. <laughs> And a little bit earlier, I found a butterfly He's still there. hanging out. And I just went ahead and put him on the alyssum so he could get a drink of some nectar. And he's still just hanging out there. He seems to be okay. Probably just because it's really windy outside right now that he's not wanting to fly. So I look for him to probably fly away in the morning. Just a heads up, the alyssum's a darker purple than what you're seeing. It's showing lighter. It's really dark purple. Yes, things that are purple do not show up well on a phone, on the camera, on the phone. So all of these tomatoes looking great, really starting to fill out now. My cucumbers that are in my lemon tree pot, as I always plant my cucumbers in the lemon tree pot, I have all started coming up. So we'll probably start trellising those pretty soon. Cantaloupes, they're doing well. The Young, the uh, first leaves that they get when they come in are starting to fall off, which is typical. That's what happens. Um, cucumbers are coming up in this pot. I only had one that has not came up so far, so four out of the five ain't bad, as meatloaf would say. And then I've got white crenshaws and white spine cucumbers and Charente cantaloupe in the big pot back here. Um, and I just planted those yesterday, so they probably will not be up for another four or five days, maybe seven. It sometimes takes them a little while. Bill's 
Um, these little basil that are right here in this little pot came out of the Dollar Tree. There was only three of them came, uh, it was actually five of them came up, three have survived. And I uh, went ahead and transplanted them into this and they have tripled in size since we put them outside yes, yesterday mornings when I put them out. Yeah. Um, watermelons have basically just doubled in size. I had one come up this morning and it has already gotten um, its second set of leaves and going on the third set of leaves in one day. Um, as you can tell, it just came up, this one right here, and so did this one. And this one came up, that one's brand new. And uh, we got cucumbers coming up back here. I need to move that pot because it's getting a little bit too shaded. Um, but new growth on the ones that were in there that are Space Master. So I'm glad that those survived. And we've got some new growth on a couple of the watermelon plants that looked like they were struggling but they're now coming on. I did plant some more watermelons over here in the kiddie pool that's converted into the strawberries. So we've got basil in here as well and then some rosemary that should be up in a few days. And we have strawberries coming on like crazy. The plants are not very big but they are producing strawberries. And then over here in the herb garden which is the third plot, not quite as big. We planted some more radishes. We've got loads of dill. This is the um, Long Island dill that is coming up. You can see those in there. Um, starting to get pretty big. And then we just planted uh, more seeds in here, Crimson Giant radishes, as well as um, Goodness, I've already forgotten what the other one is. Oh, yes, uh, French breakfast radishes we planted in here as well. Um, this is the lettuce that we planted. It's Four Seasons lettuce. It's kind of got a rusty red color. It has already doubled in size since yesterday. And everything is doing really well in here. We've also planted um, some black Spanish radishes between the Four Seasons lettuce and the chamomile. The chamomile is blooming like crazy. We've got more chamomile that is coming up right now. Got rosemary over here that is coming up. Let me show you the little little seedlings. Right there is one and right over here is two and I need to get in here and do some weeding. Salvia still doing really well. I keep hoping to get um, video of a little bit later in the evening which is later in the evening now but not late enough where we can get those hummingbird moths on video for you so you can see those and we've got some zinnias planted in here and you can see those are coming up and the oregano is really starting to fill out now i got to get in here and weed those we planted some loofah um, in here as well around the oregano and we have planted some birdhouse gourds in here all along the other side of the oregano and cucumbers all in the center section and then we've got our mustard right here in this little strip i'm not a huge fan of mustard greens so i just went ahead and planted a very short amount this time and then our columbines are just about ready to bloom and again this is a variety that is completely lemon yellow and our daylilies over here are getting ready to bloom as well. The eggplants, this is the fourth plot, which is very, very small, only about six feet across. They are now starting to pick up and grow again. They were struggling there for a bit, and I think it was mainly because of the heat and the sun, but they have really started picking up now and growing. Um, putting on new leaves, which I'm very happy with. I did not want to lose them. It was very hard finding the large purple, just standard eggplants, um, which is what I found this season. And then we've got lots of little flowers in here, sunflowers, and we've got some aster and some other things in here. And then I had planted spinach all along the sides of my potatoes here. And you can see that that is coming up. And we actually had to dig a wire out, so unfortunately some of that got dug up. So we're going to put the wire back down in and go ahead and replant that with spinach. And then we planted more spinach up along 
this side and then everything like I said through here is just doing fantastic and then we're gonna go into a part two, two I did not intend for this to be a garden tour but it looks like it's gonna be another one <laughs> 